Howdy there guys, my name is Elio, and in this old video I will be sharing with you my review of Tales of Berseria. So what are you waiting for? Let's get into it. <coughs> what is all this? So to break the water on this game, I will tell you that I am personally a big Tales of fan. This isn't my first, second, or even fifth Tales game, so I will try to keep my biased thoughts in check. Anyways, diving into the story first, we start off with Velvet here. She's your typical dark, edgy waifu. That's not necessarily a bad thing though, as the game gives you legitimate reasons as to why she is like that. She starts off on a quest to acquire revenge and then to save the world. You guys know, the whole yada yada. Nothing groundbreaking there. But it's through the memories that you come across in a world that you interact with that really sell the game. You there with the big sword. You've got skills. Don't you? The story in itself, though a bit cliche, is still quite entertaining. This is a prequel to Tales of Zestiria, which honestly is one of the worst Tales games I have played, and as you go through the game, you learn why. The good thing though is that you don't have to have played Zestiria or any other Tales game to know what's going on. It's self-contained with just a reference of how things work in Zestiria. Each member of your party also has their own personalities and weaknesses, which really make you connect with them, which is a huge plus. But there is one NPC that I do have to mention, Kamoana, who is literally the bane of my existence. This poor girl's voice is complete and utter garbage. The director that told her voice actor to sound like that absolutely deserves jail time. Moving on to the gameplay, I am glad to say that this game took everything that was boring in Zestiria and turned it up. As with other Tales games, you can use any member of your party at any time, though in this one Velvet is extremely broken. I did turn the difficulty up to moderate as I went through the game and even thought about going to hard to feel more challenged. In certain situations, I did get my cheeks clapped, which is honestly a good thing. The mechanics of this game is acquiring more soul orbs to further your combos. You can acquire more orbs by dodging properly, disabling an enemy, performing a mystic art, and picking it up during a fight. The more riskier the strat, the more reward, but if that risk doesn't pay out, there is quite a big chance for you to lose your own soul orbs. So while you can gain more soul orbs during a fight from enemies, the enemies can also take yours. This can be frustrating, but it shows you that the enemies just don't stand there and take hits till they die all the time. Chaining combos with the use of her consuming claw opens up another moveset and can add in another layer of depth to the combat system with its random benefits for activating her break soul mode. While benefits are gained with her break soul move, the game makes sure you don't exploit it. As the longer you stay in this mode, the quicker Velvet's HP will drain. So there have been times where I have had 1 HP left or died soon after because I tried to abuse the system. So there is a lot going on in this game but trust me, it's all simple. Overall, I thoroughly enjoyed the combat system in this game, and with so many moves, it's hard to get bored with them all. Also, shout out to Aizen's AI for always spamming my favorite mystic art. Ready to die? Think you can dodge? Just try! Perfect mayhem! Cutscenes also follow the traditional format of the Tales series. Some cutscenes are in the style of the game in itself, while others are played out in anime fashion. I was very happy seeing a return of that method in this game. I hope it's something that stays in future Tales games because of how iconic it is. I will warn you though, some of the cutscenes in this game, or Tales series in general, can be quite lengthy. Some of the optional conversations in themselves can be quite long, but that's a part of the JRPG, isn't it? Overall, Tales of Berseria hits all the points I look for when it comes to JRPGs. The story isn't perfect, but it makes sense and provides proper closure to the player. The combat system is extremely fun, but it can also be extremely punishing if the player chooses it to be. There's a lot of flash, but it's not without substance. After clocking in around 59 hours, I finished the main story and a small portion of side quests. So if you as a player aren't satisfied with what this game has to offer, there's plenty of stuff outside the story to keep you entertained. To sum it all up, I highly recommend this if you're new to the Tell series, as it takes the good elements of the series and puts it all into one cohesive game. If you have questions about the game, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching if you made it this far. And this is Elio, signing out.